It's going pretty good. Uh, Ramon would be pretty proud of me. I mixed in some uh, yes run first inning in those last night. Nice, <laughs> nice. There we go. We're getting into some of the props. Very popular. Your fee and your fees, no doubt, here from Collins Brown. So check a look. Take a look over at the site at our channel from the picks from Collins. All right, Collins, today, Major League Baseball and 7 Eastern time. Uh, AL East uh, contenders here battling. Blue Jays hosting the Rays. Uh, uh, the Blue Jays here, dollar forty-five. Total sits here, nine and a half. Yeah, so I'm kind of hoping that uh, somebody doesn't know something that I don't going into this game because uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out why Kikuchi's a favorite in this game. Uh, Kikuchi in June has nearly a 10 ERA and a 2.22 whip. Uh, Kikuchi this year is in the bottom 1% in expected ERA, expected weighted batting average, slugging, and barrel percentage comes into this one with almost a 300 uh, Babbitt and a sub a sub six fifth, which is 5.85, so we're hardly below six. And then Whistler comes into this one, had a pretty good June. He's got a 1.16 whip in June and a 3.48 ERA. And he's in the 89th percentile in uh, hard hit percentage and then the 80th percentile in expected batting average. And he comes in actually 59th in uh, – X Woba, which is expected weighted batting average, and then you got the expected earned run average. Uh, both of these teams are five and five in their last ten games. The Rays kept, dropped two against the Brewers, which is kind of shocking. And then we've got the Blue Jays the last fifteen days at a seven sixty two OPS, while the Rays are actually struggling the last fifteen days with a six seventy two. And then the Blue Jays against righties do hit pretty well with a seven fifty one OPS and a two fifty four average. And the race against lefties have a good average with 259, but their OPS just isn't where you want it to be. But I expect him to get on the board early with Kikuchi. I think he's um, averaging about two home runs per nine. I'm expecting Whistler to have some run support in this one as well. Uh, stay away from the total in this one. It, these numbers kind of speak a, speak one tone and don't really speak another one, and that, that uh, total didn't really represent what I was seeing in this game. So I stayed away from that total, and then again, I still don't understand how Kikuchi could be a favorite in this game. Yeah, the, there we've got the, the Rays here plus one twenty-five. I think what they're looking at here is that the listed picture here. It looks like it'll be Yar Yarbrough uh, that will get the start oh. here for uh, Ryan Yarbrough will get the start here for the uh, Rays. And you know, I don't know if he's an opener. I don't know what he is <laughs> because he'll, he'll he'll pitch an inning, right. then he'll pitch three, he'll pitch two, and it's been pretty much pounded. He went to, he was demoted to the minor leagues. He's been recalled here uh, to try to kind of be a bulk reliever. And of course, what they do, they throw him into the opener role here, <laughs> here against the Blue Jays that have been hot. So yeah. I think I think to find the ointment here is where thought maybe it would have been Kluber. We're hoping Rasmussen, but we get stuck here with Yarbrough, and this is why we have the Blue Jays a big favorite here. Yeah. So Yarbrough, actually a pretty interesting left-hander, I believe, left-handed, if yeah. I'm remembering yes. correctly. Yeah. He's he's got an interesting release point, right? So he's kind of like a three-quarter arm slot, almost almost a sidearm guy. And everything he throws does move. I know he's got a two-seam cutter slider and a changeup, the uh, Yarbrough. But the interesting thing about Yarbrough, in a in a world full of velo and a major league baseball full of velo, he doesn't throw hard. He throws that cutter at like 86, the two-seam at right around 90. So uh, I think he still will get some run support here because, like I mentioned, Kikuchi's ERA in June is almost a 10, and that whip a, a 2.22. So I don't really care. I, at this point, I don't really care who's on the mound. It's just fade Kikuchi at this point. Yeah, fade the fade on Kikuchi here. Plus 125, Coach Yarbrough. You know, first start back after that minor league assignment, uh, you know, in, in early June. He's been in the minors for almost a month now, so he's getting tired of those bus rides, that, that plain food. Now you've got the Major League uh, Baseball, you know, back in MLB. Maybe that'll be a boost for these guys. We saw it with McKenzie uh, last year. They, they, you know, he's a big star. You know, with in the making, he got demoted to the minors, came back, and man turned into a super. You know, put up some really strong numbers. We'll see if Yarbrough can do that uh, coming back here from the minors in this one. Rays plus one twenty-five here against the Blue Jays at this one to have a start time of a seven p.m. Eastern time. All right, Collins, let's take a look over at Tony'sBigs.com right now. We have one game started, so still seven games here for Major League Baseball. We have some uh, WNBA, CFL also scheduled. Uh, what do you have going on over Tony's Picks? Yeah, so uh, we're sweating through that, that game right now. We've got the over in it. I haven't checked it in a minute. Been kind of doing some research on this game here. So I, I 
believe we're still sweating through it. Last I looked, it was one to nothing in the third. I'm sure we're in the fifth or sixth at this point. It's three one but, top um, six, three one top. Shane Beaver at bases hey, loaded, two out, bad. gave out a double that cleared the bases. So three one uh, Minnesota. Well, hey, I uh, I put Minnesota money line in my pocket this morning. I didn't want to give it out because it was a it was a little bit difficult to figure out a way to uh, to not see the Guardians tearing absolutely tearing up uh, Archer. So, anyways, um. So I've got four picks left. Uh, you can buy those as single picks if you see a game that you like. Uh, I will have to go back in another uh, pick pass up. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that with the early games, but I'll go throw that in there as well. I might add a play here or there. Um, yeah, it's it's been an interesting week for sure. Uh, I feel like I just keep getting bad beat after bad beat, just taking my knees out from under me. But it's a good thing about what we do. It's it's every single day you get to bounce back and have a new day and. Uh, being positive about it is the best way to go about it. Um, so go ahead. I've got the three-day, the seven-day, and the 30-day. But I really think the, the MLB all-season pass, if you're interested, is where you're going to get bang for your buck. Uh, it's really the only sports I'm looking at here until we get into late July is when I'll probably start jumping into some of those college football picks. Uh, I'm not really – I'm still doing all the research you can with this transfer portal stuff. It makes it daggum impossible to, to fully – get a team mapped out, but I'm doing the best I can, looking at uh, probably the end of July to put up that college football season pass. I want to feel really confident in, uh, in what I've got and what I'm looking at. All right, guys, got to go with Collins Brown over at Tony'sPace.com. This baseball season pass will get you the remainder of regular season baseball here. A good uh, three months plus of action remaining here as uh, uh, you'll get the three months of place here. 349 is the price, very affordable price in here on Collins' regular season baseball pass. Uh, uh, a little more than $100 a month there. And we're going to save you some money on it right now. When you use this promo code Tony T at checkout, you'll save 20% off, off, off of Collins' baseball season pass. We'll do the math for you. That's $70 off. So 349 becomes about 279 So <laughs> there you go. It's less than now. It's about $90 a month now when you get the uh, Collins uh, baseball season pass using the promo code Tony T at checkout. The remainder of the regular season baseball here from Collins over at TonySpace.com. You can access Collins page by clicking the link in the description, clicking the All Cappers tab, and then getting signed up. All right, Collins, is always like, great having your show. Continue that success. We'll also follow you here over on Twitter, but I know on the videos, you've been putting together a video series up there with your shorts for Major League Baseball. Yeah, I've been throwing those out there. Uh, I've actually, I, th I actually think I swept the board yesterday on those free on those shorts on YouTube. So go check those out. Those come out. Uh, I try and get them up at about, I try and get them put in at about you know 10, 10, 11 Eastern time. So they're up by midnight for all you guys that can't go to sleep or, you know, sitting there swiping through your phone. They're, they'll pop up there for you. And uh, of course the the Twitter account as well. I put out at least one free pick a day on that Twitter account. And then I have my personal account, but I would honestly stay away from that because it's just a bunch of Atlanta Braves stuff. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's been an interesting. Uh, it's been an interesting week. I, this, uh, I think we're about to start getting some uh, some trades happening, and that's going to make baseball a lot of fun. Uh, me and me and Tony talked a little bit about Carlos Santana earlier this week joining the Mariners. So. Uh, these trades are about to start coming in pretty hot the first week of July and last about a week and a half, two weeks. So uh, it would it's definitely going to help you out to pay attention to those shorts. We kind of give you a input on uh, what we're looking at, who's who and what's what. And then, of course, jump in every day on the, on the YouTube channel when we go live. We're going we're gonna to deliver them for you every day. We certainly will, guys. So get up with Collins Brown. Follow him over on Twitter, Tony Spick C Bear, as well as over on the YouTube channel. You'll find Collins' video series there. All right, Collins, have yourself a great night. We'll talk with you again tomorrow. Yes, sir. Have a good one. You got it. Collins Brown here on. I'm doing well. How are you? Doing great. Doing great. Now, man, that backdrop's looking great. Looking great now. We got the new camera <laughs> set up, got the new setup going. The 4K, the 4K I know. image resolution. I moved up to, you know, out of the uh, the dark ages to, you know, some 4K, right? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, got it all nice and zoomed in. <laughs> Beautiful. Looking great. All right. Mindy Han here on the channel. We're going to go over to West Coast Baseball tonight, 10 Eastern time. See, the Angels need to learn how to do these start times, you know, for the SoCal traffic. Uh, we got uh, the Dodgers here to host the Padres. The Dodgers, $1.35, total seven and a half. 
Yeah, so Padres uh, going on the road here to face the Dodgers. I think they're on, what, like an 11-game home stand here coming up? Uh, but you got Mus Musgrove on the mound. He's 8-1 uh, and one on the season, 2.12 ERA, 82 Ks. Um, I think he's uh, a pretty outstanding pitcher here myself. I um, think he's doing well. Um, still kind of on average based off of where he's been in the last couple of years. Uh, versus Mitch White, uh, he's 1-1 one one on the season, 4.25 ERA, 30 Ks. Um, I think he's kind of come out of the bullpen here as well. Um, so I'm not looking for him maybe to stay in the game more than, you know, four to five innings, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, it's it's one of those, like, depending on, on how things go, on how long you can get to. Um, and for me, I'm kind of looking at um, the first five here in this one um, with the Padres. Uh, so I'm kind of looking at, you know, hopefully he stays in so I can kind of stay away from that, uh, you know, Dodgers bullpen there. Uh, but the Pad Padres are actually averaging 3.32 runs per game here in the first five um, compared to allowing their opponents at only 1.48 uh, runs um, in the first five. While the Dodgers here, uh, 2.98 runs. Um, in the first five, while well, their opponents 2.37. Uh, so here, I like the Padres here, first five. Um, I'm kind of, you know, uh, rooting for them in this game, uh, but not sure they'll be able to make that whole game. I like the plus point, point, point five here, um, or half a run on the run line at minus 140. All right, Mindy here going to go uh, Padres first five. It's the, it's the run line pick here, so plus half a run. So if they're tied yes. after five, it's a winner. The Padres up That's right. after five, it's a winner. So you can have a 0 0 1 1 here, and it's a winner here uh, with the Padres. Yeah, you want to stay away from the Padres bullpen. Actually, Dodgers have had really good success against the Padres though, uh, since last August. I saw a number come up where they, they've had a pretty good uh, win streak here. Not, not winning all, but I think winning maybe nine of 10. Uh, they've, had, they've, had the, they've had the Padres number of late here. And of course, maybe this is a team that wakes up the Dodgers because sometimes they play down to the competition. Yeah, well, we talk about, you know, Freddie Friedman a lot, too, and I think he's on, like, a 14-game hit streak. Um, he's kind of brought the Dodgers a little bit back to life here in that, uh, you know, kind of sour series versus, uh, you know, Colorado there, too. Uh, but, you know, if you take a look at it, too, like, you know, um, over has been going, you know, coming in between these two teams here. Um, I think it was like three and one over their last four. Uh, so that means that the Padres are, you know, hanging in there usually if, if these totals are going over. Uh, so kind of another reason for me to, um, you know, kind of side with Musgrove and the Padres um, in this one. Yeah, Machado back in the lineup, as we know here. Of course, yes, no, Mookie, right. no Mookie bets uh, for the Dodgers still dealing with that rib injury. So Padres first five. This is the run line. So you're going to get plus half a yes. run at minus 140. So if they're tied after five, you win. If the Padres are up after five, you win too. They're at minus 140 against the Dodgers. This one's at 10 Eastern time. All right, Mindy, let's take a look over at TonySpeaks.com. We got our early game up on the up started, but you know what? They left some late games for us. Seven late games tonight, so not not everything is this morning, afternoon today. So we got seven games in the afternoon. We do have a WNBA, a CFL out there as well. What do you have going on over at Tony's Picks? Yeah, the WNBA game here today uh, was also too close for me to make a pick on. Um, it was kind of like slide of some margins here, so I was going to stay away from that. Uh, but I do have five uh, picks here today uh, on the evening slate. Uh, what I did do is put a three-game package together for you, so you could take a look at some of these late games. Uh, you can also go ahead and uh, check out my short. That one was between the Yankees and Astros, so I have a play on that one if you want to take a look. Uh, but here, you know, uh, we're getting into uh, closer to the weekend. It's a good time to get that three-day weekend pass uh, to get you through. Uh, or else you could take a look at something a little bit longer, uh, more like a seven-day, 30-day. Um, also have uh, season-long packages as well. Um, we're getting almost uh, halfway, I think, what? Um, it's All-Stars games coming up, what, like the 19th, something like that. Uh, so then we can go ahead and do something like second half packages for you um, also as we go. That's right. Teams have played about between 77 and 74 games. So we're getting close to that 82 game mark. Now, by the end of next week, about well, mid next week, will be at the official halfway point yeah. of the season. So uh, get on board with Mindy Han over at Tony's Pick. She does have a, a, a Beat the Heat three pack from Major League Baseball. Uh, coming off a winning day yesterday, looking for some more here. Uh, $25 affordable pricing there over on the site. Also, the long-term passes will serve you well, as Mindy has a, a three, seven, or 30 hour sports pass. She does have the regular season money grabber. The remainder of Major League Baseball regular season affordable pricing, just 333 
for Major League Baseball for Mindy Hahn up until the October 4th. So still about another three months of baseball premium picks. That's very affordable, just a 111.11, but we're going to save 20% off that right now when you use the promo code Tony T at checkout. Uh, we'll save you 20% off all premium pick packages. Just doing the math here on the uh, regular season pass, 333.33 means you will save 66.66. And uh, that's a right. what is that going to come out to? That's going to come out to probably exactly. two two sixty or something like that. So really good pricing right there uh, for Mindy Hans' uh, remainder of her regular season Major League Baseball, uh, thirty three and thirty three. Yeah, we're probably looking at about uh, two sixty two sixty four two sixty five there. And when you do the math there for the for when you use the promo code Tony T at checkout, the remainder of the regular season for Major League Baseball for Mindy Han, uh, that'll take you to October fourth. Uh, so a good time to get on board. Of course, you can access Mindy's page by clicking the link in the description, then clicking the All Cappers tab and getting signed up. Don't forget that promo code, save that money, especially on that regular season pass for Major League Baseball. That would be 6666 off that price of 33333. <laughs> and of course, you can use that on any of Mindy's passes of her on her, on her uh, individual plays or on her three pack for tonight. So get on board and get signed up. All right, Mindy, as always, great having a show. Continue that success. We'll talk to you tomorrow. But we'll be looking again for your shorts. As we, I like your shorts. You've got your dog. I know you said you had some other animals that, that you that you. I have a have. lot. A I lot? know. I'm, I, uh, I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> no, it's... But yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to get my. Like I said, I have some mini donkeys, cats, dogs. They'll have the whole works. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, look, <laughs> looking forward to the shorts from Mindy, guys. So check them out over on the channel. All right, Mindy. Ever so great evening. We'll talk with you again tomorrow. Yeah, each of them can uh, feature, I think, in about a day, so I could just do like a recurring, you know. There you go. <laughs> and I'll get in. <laughs> yeah, check them out. All right. Maybe, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Many Han here on. But uh, I know that the Dodgers and Padres are playing this four-game series. I was going to kindly ask you not to talk to me for the next four days, Dodger Blue. <laughs> well, you know. It'll be it'll be fun, and because you, you know what the results have been. Has it been ten of eleven since last August? The LAD has gotten over on SD. Do you want me to put the camera oh, no, no, thing no. down? I, there, I, I was or? nice. I was going to call him SD Jones. You know, like the jobber from WWE back in the day that had trouble winning matches. But I, I'll be nice. <laughs> well, I'll be here. Hopefully on Monday to, to talk a little trash. But if yeah. not, I'll still show up. Well, now we'll see how it rolls. It'll be an interesting series here, but we're going to be looking here today at this other great series on the board here, Cubs and Reds. Uh, Mindy beat you the punch today on the on the Padres Dodgers, but here we go. We've got the uh, Cubs hosting the, the Reds here. The Cubs at buck thirty total sits here at ten. Yeah, I thought I'd take a look at the the matchup, but light schedule. We're kind of taking maybe we're taking it easy. Maybe we're getting a little bit of a a day off in a way, a little bit of a breather in the sports betting world. Still a good card. Take a look at the Reds and the Cubs. From Wrigley, uh, gonna get to take a look at Ashcraft going against Hendricks and Ashcraft looks like he's here to stay in the major leagues. Tony, uh, look at a pitcher like him with these kind of metrics that you like: uh, the 57% ground ball rate, the 85 mile per hour exit velocity. Exactly what you want, especially from a rookie. If those kind of numbers, uh, those are hard to sustain, but certainly a good start to his career. The Reds. For all their troubles, they're six and one in Ashcraft's seven starts, but he does have a six point one one ERA in the last three starts, so maybe that regression is starting to uh, come in. Hendricks, he's actually off of a pretty good start, but he's not having a, a good year uh, with those numbers that you like, and maybe he's getting a little long in the tooth. The thirty six percent ground ball rate and seventeen percent K rate not Kyle Hendricks like he's got the 4.90 ERA this season despite that good start last time out and a 5.22 expected ERA in Hendricks Tony a 1.55 home runs per nine that is also not Kyle Hendricks like the Cubs have gone over in 12 of their last 14 games as a favorite but the Cubs have just won two of Hendricks's nine last starts against Cincinnati. So something's got to give here, I would think. The Reds, they are six of eight to the over, and also seven out of their last ten road games have gone over. But for me, Tony, the weather, right? First thing, I should have just started it off. Uh, we're in Chicago, 12 miles an hour to dead center field. Not uh, 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 terribly strong win but brisk enough to weigh in the factors of the Cubs 
wind numbers. Simple. This season, 10 miles an hour under, the Cubs are 4 and 9 to the under. Over 10 miles an hour this season, the Cubs are 14 and 7 to the overs. And tonight we're looking at uh, 14 mile an hour winds, slightly decreasing through the night, but never expected to be below that 10 miles an hour. So for me, I'm looking to go over in this one. We're talking about two of the bottom five bullpens also, Tony, in the league. The Reds, a 7.47 ERA over the last 10 games is brutal. And the Cubs, 4.59 ERA this season. Reds definitely producing. Got to like these lineups today, Tony. Reds got some hot hitters. They've scored 29 runs over the last six games. And they've got Brandon Drury, who's been hot, uh, 371 during his eight-game hitting streak. Uh, Joey Votto has a near 400 batting average against Hendricks, and Pham is nicely slotted in between them, I would think, if the lineup uh, is the usual lineup tonight. And the Cubs, certainly some good bats, I would think, against the Reds. Wilson Contreras, he's been hot. Uh, Nico Horner, he's been hot as well. Also like uh, Jan Gomes and Patrick Wisdom in that lineup, Tony. Both teams hitting about 260 over the last 10 games. Red 6 and 2 to the over as an underdog. All adds up to an over for me. We're going over the 10 runs tonight in Reds and Cubs. All right, then Ramon here. Reds, Cubs going over a total of 10. Yeah, Ashcraft is someone I'm keeping an eye on. He's been pitching well. He's had some blips there. You know, two of his past three starts, uh, six runs allowed and five against Milwaukee, four runs allowed in four and two thirds here against St. Louis got together against a really inconsistent Giants team. I'm going to call them that because, you know, they lost that two of three uh, series here to the San but uh, against the, the Giants. But again, in, the, in those starts against the Brewers and, and Cardinals, uh, 10 runs total there, nine and two thirds innings. Uh, so uh, Ashcraft, although he's put up some really good numbers, did, did, did stumble a bit in those two starts, not going more than five innings. Yeah, and the other thing about his starts, you know, Tony, when you look at those numbers, uh, pitching in Cincinnati, it's not an easy thing to do. So I think that also does lend some credence to his fine start. But yes, maybe we're starting to see some rookie regression. And when you talk about special situations, you know, when you're going to Colorado for the first time, when you're pitching in Wrigley Wind for the first time, when you're going to pitch in Boston for the first time uh, with the monster. So it's these situations that you look to maybe take advantage of with uh, unfamiliarity or something that they ha that rookies haven't done before and going in to pitch in a uh, straight out to center field Wrigley. We'll see what happens uh, in this one tonight. But I think the, the numbers are promising. It looks like Ashcraft uh, you know, wasn't their top prospect, but certainly, a, a, I believe, top, I want to say top five, top eight prospect for the Reds. And uh, maybe he is here to stay with that, uh, with those good numbers, at least to start. And the Reds certainly looking for anything to build on. Uh, no doubt they've actually done a nice job uh, after that horrible start. So promise there for them, maybe. And uh, for Kyle Hendricks, uh, you know, Again, I, I'm not sure he's ever going to, you know, we always say that Kyle Hendricks, that, that Kyle Hendricks was five years ago, right? We're just dealing yeah. with a with a, with a a journeyman at this point. Uh, he might be able to come up with big efforts once in a while. And, uh, you know, like I said, as good as his last start was pretty solid. But, uh, uh, you know, we're not going to ever see uh, the old Kyle Hendricks again. No, we won't. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't. I'm with you there. You know, one thing I noticed here with Ashcraft in the minors this year in AAA, he did walk 17 batters in 32 innings. We'll see if that if, if the pressure gets to him here in this spot with the wind blowing. He may put. He may have to have that precise precision here in this type of situation. We'll see if, if the walks hurt him like they did in AAA this year. Uh, Reds Cubs over a total of 10 runs at this one to have a start time here of 8 p.m. Eastern time. Ramon, let's go over at TonySpace.com. We've been an absolute fighter. 806 units the past seven days. All documents. We go over to TonySpace.com and you can check out the Ramon's handicapper page. Go down there and you can see all the plays are fully documented. They're graded immediately over on the side. Still seven games here from Major League Baseball with the afternoon game starting already. Of course, we've got one WNBA. We've got one CFL as we've been checking out the Ramon's video series up there on both sports. What do you have going on over at the site? Yeah, we'll be in action tonight in the Major Leagues. We're on a really good run. 
uh, cleaning up the mess from uh, early on in the season. Definitely pretty hot right now in the major leagues. I'll have a package there. Also have one play in WNBA. You also can take a look at the preview for the game between the Atlanta Dream and the New York Liberty tonight. Video preview for that game is up, and we will have a premium, uh, I believe, on that game. Uh, trying to finalize that. And also, uh, in the Canadian Football League, one game tonight. British Columbia taking on Ottawa. A little bit of a tough situation. BC, they're 2-0. and They were red hot. They've outscored their opponents, Tony, like, uh, I want to say it's a 112-15 to or something like that. Uh, going up against an Ottawa team that's 0-2, but played the defending back-to-back -back champs before having a bye last week. So, you got all those logistics that kind of, you know, when you're talking about the Thursday night football, it also pertains to the Canadian Football League. So do have a video preview out for that game and uh, maybe have a pick there as well. And also take a look to the two games in the Major League Soccer tonight. And uh, I'm looking at one game. I think I will actually have one premium on one of the two games tonight in Major League Soccer, Tony. And uh, getting ready for a big weekend. There is a UFC, a major UFC card uh, this Saturday night uh, as well. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, two big fights, uh, uh, two championship fights, including Adesanya. He's a $4 favorite. He's fighting. And uh, uh, the other fight, the co-main event, very attractive bout of trilogy between Volkanovski and Max Holloway. So a uh, hot fight card uh, this Saturday. And interesting, Tony, I think for you to note, because you're such a big fan of telling us about our television arrangements, but uh, this is a big step for the UFC. They're putting three of their fights, including Cowboy Cerrone, not the main event, it's still a pay-per-view card, but they're putting their middle three fights on ABC in primetime, and it's a big moment for, there has been some network coverage before, but this is a weekend, primetime, 5 p.m., 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, three fights right in the middle showcasing uh, the UFC on ABC. So they are pretty fired up about uh, having that package uh, going this weekend on network television. Even though it's not their uh, main event, they put three fights in the middle there on the network. So pretty good there, Tony, and uh, should be a pretty good weekend. Uh, maybe even tune into some live golf. I'll, be, I'll live on the edge. There you go. No doubt there. Of course, you know, there'll be a lot of selling up for those pay-per-views over on our channels on the ABC yeah, network. Right. No I mean, doubt. That's, that's, that's the perfect business plan for them. Get on board with uh, Ramon Scott over Tony's pick. You see the numbers. 860 units of profit. Last seven days document. He'll have plays on the board tonight for Major League Baseball. Possibly some MLS. Uh, so get on board there. He'll keep an eye on WNBA, CFL. He looks at it every day. Something pops in. He'll be up there. The long-term pass is the way to go here with Ramon. Of course, you get a season pass right now from Ramon from, from uh, CFL and WNBA, as well as the baseball season pass. Uh, his season premium pass is up there for you right now. A little not too early here to get the budget your budget ready here for college football. He does have his football season plan up there. Whatever pass you select, whether it's a long-term pass or an individual individual pick, you can, we can save you some money here when you use the promo code TONYT at checkout. You can access Ramon's page by clicking the link in the description, clicking the All Cappers tab, and then, of course, getting signed up. All right, Ramon, as always, uh, great having your show. Continue that success. We'll talk with you again uh, tomorrow. Again, we talked about your video series with w WNBA, CFL. Of course, TonySpace.com has put together a Twitter account for you. And I have one play right now on my Tony's Picks Twitter account right there at Tony's Picks. Ramon, one play tonight. If you want another free play, it's in Major League Soccer. So log on to Twitter. Follow at Tony's Picks. Ramon, follow all the cappers on Tony's Picks. Twitter accounts. We get free picks every day there as well. And uh, uh, pick up my MLS pick. I'll have picks all weekend on those Twitter accounts. So we keep those rolling. That's right. Check out Ramon Scott over Tony's picks. Oh, Ramon right there. All right, Ramon, have yourself a great afternoon, evening. We'll talk with you again tomorrow. All right, Tony, appreciate it. And uh, if I could just uh, paraphrase uh, Tupac, uh, I didn't choose this tout life. The tout life chose me. There you go. From Ramon Scott here on Game Day Picks. All right.